Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Good Boxing Podcast with your host, Josh Saez. Today, I have a good episode for you, recapping all of the fights that took place yesterday. First things first, I just want to acknowledge, wow, I was completely wrong about Conor Ben. Conor Ben yesterday made a complete, utter statement about destroying the formidable Samuel Vargas. Samuel Vargas had been in with the likes of Errol Spence Jr. He's been in with the likes of many other fighters, including Virgil Ortiz. The list goes on and on. Sam Vargas has been in there with him. However, yesterday, Conor Ben destroyed Samuel Vargas. I literally turned the fight on. I was in a barbecue in Brooklyn and legitimately 30 seconds went by. Fight was over. I was pissed. My pick was completely wrong. Conor Ben, congratulations. You have a very, very bright future for you. I did like the fact that you went out there and just destroyed someone who did not belong in the ring with you. Nothing against Samuel Vargas, and I really hope he's okay. But after devastating losses back-to-back and a lot of KO losses, I think it's either time to kind of restart, maybe change your style, or it may be time to kind of take a look and reconsider more or less what you're trying to do. I don't want to see you end up at the end of your career with permanent damage, right? We don't know what's going to happen, but Conor Ben. Congratulations. Now, after the fight, immediately they started to ask him what's next. Personally, I think Conor Ben should continue to build, build his legacy over in the UK. Maybe look for the continental title, the European Championship against David Avenizen, or fight a couple of people locally, get your name up there, and then fight Amir Khan. I think that fight with Amir Khan would be fantastic. Maybe after he fights David Avenizen. But Amir Khan, this guy, I'm really just getting quite frankly tired of him. He's talking, 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 and never fights. I mean, this guy said he wanted to fight Kel Brook. He wanted to do this. He wanted to do that. But you know what, Amir Khan, I think it's time for you to either step up or just retire, dude. You you say you want that fight with Kel Brook, and quite frankly, I understand now why he doesn't want to fight you, right? Conor Ben said, hey, I want to fight Amir Khan and then potentially other fighters in the division. And what'd you say? Oh, you should go out there and get more titles. You should do this, blah, 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 blah. Dude, you haven't done anything in a very long time. Yeah, you beat Samuel Vargas, but you got dropped. You got smoked by Terrence Crawford where you quit. I'm sorry. You look back at that fight. He quit against Terrence Crawford, right? Against Sam Vargas, you struggled. Right now, you're at the twilight of your career. Your career is on a downslide. And Conor Ben's now's trajectory is up. His stock is going up. And why not would you not want to see Conor Ben test his might against a former UK great, right? Amir Khan at one point was the best from the UK. He had a fantastic resume. He fought the likes of everyone at the 147-pound division. Why not take on Conor Ben? It's not that far-fetched of a fight. You haven't done anything in a very long time. Yeah, you went up, you fought Canelo, you got knocked out. You fought Danny Garcia, you got knocked out. You fought Lamont Peterson, you lost. So the list goes on and on. I'm just getting tired of Amir Khan, quite frankly, either retire or fight Kell Brook and just move on. Um, If you don't want to fight Conor Ben, I understand that. But this whole, like, you're not ready, you're not this, you're not even relevant. I'm sorry, you're not relevant, Amir Khan. You got to move on. Connor Ben, good job. I like the fact that you're calling people out. And you know what? When you're going to call people out, you make a statement like you did. I have no qualms with that. There's so much depth at 147. And Connor Ben, welcome to it. Talking about 147, there's also Jaron and his boots out there who I don't know if he's going to fight a Connor Ben, but another electric 147 pounder. Um, in terms of Connor Ben, the Kell Brook fight actually makes a lot of sense now, too. Kell Brook lost to um, Terrence Crawford in a fight that he was very competitive in, and he ended up losing. Nothing wrong with that. Um, he also called out Adrian Broner. Fantastic fight, in my opinion, but Adrian Broner, let's be honest, he's not a 147-pounder. Plus, he fights for PBC and not the zone uh, matchroom. So I don't know if PBC is going to re-sign Broner. I'm hearing that there's issues and 
basically they want to keep Broner on the sideline after a very unsuccessful um, Showtime card where he did not bring in the numbers they thought. However, all of those fights for Conor Ben are exciting. I think Conor Ben, with the statement that he made against Samuel Vargas, his stock is going up. And I got to say, knocking out Sam Vargas in one round, just utterly demolishing him and just making him look like he didn't belong with you is exactly what you do when you fight someone of that caliber. It's time for Sam Vargas to maybe think about hanging it up, but it's also time to start taking Conor Ben seriously because I thought Sam Vargas was going to push him. I did originally in my first prediction think that um, Conor Ben would come out on top, but then, of course, I got caught up in the hype. I started looking at old videos of Samuel Vargas and old videos of Conor Ben, and it showed that he does get touched up. But you know what? If you strike first and you knock your opponent out before they get to touch you, that's certainly a fantastic strategy. I like his power. Um, he didn't really get to show his defense that much. Um, Samuel Vargas looked just to kind of shell up, and it looked like he could not take the power. So Conor Ben, look, might have really, really, really good power. Um, I would like to see him against uh, – I want to see him quickly, and I want to see him soon. I think that David Avenizan fight, Josh Kelly fight, maybe if J um, Josh Kelly wants to get himself out there again and see more or less what he wants to do at 147, I think it may be a little fast for Josh Kelly after the loss to David Avenizan. There's so much going on in the UK in terms of boxing and at 147 in general. There's just so many good fights. The list goes on and on. You also got the Sean Porters of the world. You got the Adrian Broners of the world. You add Kel Brook, Amir Khan. If he gets his head out of his ass and realizes he's not that relevant, maybe we can get some really, really good fights. Um, Connor Ben, congratulations. I was wrong. You proved me wrong and a lot of other people wrong. Uh, I really got nothing else to say. That's the episode for today. Fantastic fight with Connor Ben. What a statement. Um, that's the episode for today. Feel free to follow the podcast on Instagram at Good Boxing Podcast. And if you're not following on YouTube, feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And you don't like my video, like my video, disagree with me. Feel free to comment. I love interacting with people um, back and forth. It really, really makes this fun. And I'm glad that you are taking time to see these videos and support my content. The channel is growing. The analytics are growing. And I'm forever grateful. Thank you again so much. And I hope you enjoyed the fights the way I did. Be well and have a very good day.